Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a meat rack or fat rack in FL Studio. So I've seen it so many times in Ableton and I've been trying to figure out how to do it and I finally found the formula. So I'm going to dive right in and show you guys how it's done. Here's a little sample of what it sounds like and how it works. So I've got this sample that I've made. <laughs> That's kind of what's going on behind the scenes. It'll work exactly like an Ableton fat rack or meat rack that you've seen in other streams. It's a little bit more complicated in FL Studio. I wish they would have made this easier, but let's dive right in. The first thing we're gonna do is open up a patcher. Then within our patcher, we're going to open up Fruity Formula Controller. This is the key ingredient. Go into the Fruity Formula Controller here and punch in this formula, okay? So this formula is what's going to enable you to set distinct values to your, your knobs within your plugins, your effector plugins. So for example, you can set a minimum value and a maximum value with A and B, and C will adjust your parameter in between this value and that value of, of the knob that you attach this, this formula to. You have to compile it first for it to work. So now if we move the C knob, you can see that it starts at 0 0.218 and it ends at 0 0.588, and this is kind of your visual guide. This knob now, you can use that to automate any plugins like mix wet level, so it doesn't have to be 0 to 100 all the time. You can actually do it like Ableton. But now that that's set up, we can add a plugin. Let's just go with Camel Crusher for now, because why not? So if we open up Camel Crusher here and we want to adjust our mix level, and let's say we just want to adjust it maybe from zero to about 25%, you can go in here, set this to zero, set this to about 25%, and now this is where the magic happens. With Fruity Formula Controller, you're gonna right click, select Output Controllers, one out, okay? So that's gonna enable you to link that to the Camel Crusher, and with Inputs, you're gonna select Parameters, and then Parameter C, so that's that C knob you're gonna be able to affect using Surface. Now you can either double click on Surface or click the Surface tab. We'll right click, we'll add a knob, go with Dark Soft, and and we're gonna deactivate the little wrench here, the spanner, which allows us to then use this knob. We're gonna select activate. And now we should have a little red button, a linking button that appears here. We can link that to our Fruity Formula controller. So that knob and surface will control the C parameter in Fruity Formula controller, which will control our parameter of choice in Camel Crusher. We want to adjust this mix level using our fat rack. So we'll go into here, select input, parameters and then we'll have to find the master mix okay some of these plugins can have quite a big list of parameters way more complicated than Ableton but it would still work we're gonna link that to the camel crusher so now we should we open up camel crusher put it off to the side I'll go into surface as you can see our mix knob even though we're going to hundred percent here is only doing about 25% on our Camel Crusher. So if you like this setting, 25%, you can add another plugin, let's just say Saturator. And if you only want to adjust that by 25% as well, you can run another connector to the saturation knob. So if we go into inputs, parameters, and we link it to our saturation knob. This knob, if we open this up, is only going to be affected 25% as well. Now, if you want to do different percentages for different knobs, you will have to make additional Fruity Formula controllers. And then within the Fruity Formula controllers, you'll have to adjust your A and B knob to set the perfect control that you want with the C parameter. But if you want to go from zero to 100% wet and it doesn't matter to you what range you're adjusting, then you can just create a knob here, finish with that, we'll hit activate. If we go back to our map, we can see here that we've activated our second knob. And just for the sake of showing you guys, if I link that knob to Camel Crusher, and I use that knob, that will now be linked from zero to 100. There's no formula in between to sort of adjust the exact range that you want to increase or decrease. Basically using this formula and using the Fruity Formula controllers, you can open up as many effects plugins as you want. Just link them in order, make sure they're leading to your output. And you can basically create a fat rack or a meat rack or even a, like an effects rack with reverbs and things like that, that you can link to your surface and then use just one knob to affect a bunch of different parameters. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope it helps. Cheers.